One two pitch on the way. Freeman up the middle to base hit. Clinton Freeman gets the first hit of the game for ETSU. For over the third, up to the first baseman, Ted McGowan. Freeman on his way to third. So a hit and run on the first pitch and another hit for Derek Neesman. Safety squeeze again, right back to the mound. Janice to the plate, throws it away, it's an air, and the Bucks score. Freeman touches home. Neesman on his way to third, Reynolds on his way to second. A throwing air by Janice, they had Freeman dead at the plate. That's the eighth error which leads the tournament, and we talked about that. That's the one thing that Kennesaw State has struggled. Tritch in the right-handed batter's box, down on the count, the 0-1. Janice delivered, and Tritch with a line drive. That'll get down for a base hit. He's going to round first. He's going to try to roll the dice. The throw coming into second is not in time. It's a double for Dylan Tritch. So Freeman in the left-handed batter's box. Janice, the pitch, the 1-2. Freeman, a tamper, charging in Simmons, the shortstop left to throw across the body, it's in and out of the glove. Freeman runs over the first base umpire and he'll advance to second base. Run scores, 2-0 ETSU. One ball, no strikes, runner is going, and the pitch trits right back to Janice off his glove. And now it bounces in front of him and it's gonna be a base hit for Trich. Andrew Green up first, pitch on the way. Freeman, a bouncer, right off Janice's glove, and this could go for a base hit and an RBI for Clinton Freeman. He's safe. Charging in as Almonte couldn't get him, and boy, what a tough luck inning for Steven Janice. Two balls, two strikes. Long pause by Dunn with a runner at first. Runner's going. There's a ball hit. Derek Neesman, a one-handed play. He'll throw over to – it was a one-hop. He just kind of flailed the glove up, snagged it. And they hope they're meeting again at noon after that. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three to end the inning. Big time. Strikeout carried on. And the pitch on the way. It's Taylor line shot. It gets by Simmons, the shortstop. One run is in. Derek Neesman does like, excuse me, Rhea Pedre to the plate, but the Bucks lead 5-1. to one. Reynolds touches and Rhea Pedre touches on an arm. The one-two pitch to Andrew Green, breaking ball. Soft liner in the right field to get down for a base hit. So Andrew Green with a base hit. Runner going in the one-one. It's upstairs, the throw is high, stolen base Andrew Green. Green's 24th of the season and Bergen delivers. The ball hit up the middle, it's a base hit. Andrew Green will touch third. He's on his way to the plate. Bo Way's throw is too high, and now Kevin Phillips will try to advance to second, and he's under the tag. <laughs> RBI single Kevin Phillips, and he advances to second on the throw. It's a 6-2 to two game. So a long look, Bergen the pitch. Neesman, there's a single through the left side. They're going to try to send Kevin Phillips. No, they'll put the brakes on at the last second. Runners on the corners went out. So the pitch to Reynolds, fly ball, center field, should be deep enough to score. Kevin Phillips away with the catch. He'll just toss it into second. And an RBI for Alex Reynolds, it's a 7-2 loop. Alex Reynolds drives in his 27th run of the season. Houston the left-handed batter's box, top of the ninth, first pitch on the way, a line drive. Derek Neesman with a catch, Bucks two outs away. from Top of the ninth, two outs, ETSU leading 7-2, an 0-2 count. Carrie Doan, the pitch to LaCorey. Bouncer right back to Doan. He'll step, he'll throw. The Bucks are headed to the NCAA tournament. The dog pile has begun in ETSU in the tournament for the first time since 1981. Tenth inning show after this timeout on the Buccaneer Sports Network presented by Little Cedars and Hardys.